Hey you guys, it's Valley Brown the Perfume Don back at you with another fragrance video. Welcome to subscribers. Thanks for joining my Perfume Mafia gang gang in this thing. If you're not subscribed and you're watching this, join my Perfume Mafia. I'm just kidding. You can if you want to though. It's absolutely free and I promise you're going to have a good time. Anyways, I was looking at my collection the other day. The other day was it? And I was like, yo, I want to put on all of my vanilla fragrances. Now vanilla is a very prominent note. In fragrances, you're gonna find it almost everything that you smell. It smells a little this much sweet. It's either gonna have some caramel or some vanilla. Usually, some vanilla. It's a super sweet. Then it has some caramel. But um, I wanted to just go through my collection and put them all on. I love sweets. If you if you know my channel, if you've been here, if you've been rocking with me for a long time, then you know I either love sweet fragrances or fresh fragrances, and you know everything in between too. Perfume Mafia. But I really love sweet fragrances. And you know what? Why not smell like a freaking snack? Because it's going to make me feel better. It's going to make me happy. And why the freak not? Okay? I am chewing gum. I'm an avid gum chewer. So if you don't like that kind of thing, I'm so sorry. This ain't the video for you, but I'll have more. You know, I try to keep it a little bit consistent. Let's get into it. Okay? So, the first one, I'm going to start with the oil. I'm going to start with the oil. I'm so excited. Oh, this is so much fun. Okay. Okay, girl. All right, so this oil comes from Posset's Perfume. We're really talking about supporting small businesses. You know, everything that's going on, it's really important to, to support small businesses. Posset's Perfume, it's made in America. It's made actually right in Ohio. So Midwest, stand up. This is the Girls Love Vanilla. I love this oil. It's so, woo, it's so strong. I wish they had it in a burning oil. God, I have a really bad bruise on my leg. I was like, is that dirt? No, it's just um, broken blood vessels. Is that is that what a bruise is? Broken blood vessels? Anyways, this oil. It smells like snickerdoodle cookies, but it's so strong. I love to wear it in the winter. Oh my God, it's almost gone, like halfway. That's how you can tell I really like it. They're actually really affordable, and it's just nice to support small businesses. So if you're looking for an oil, actually, let me put this gum out. <laughs> it's getting in the way <laughs> buy gum all right if you want to support a small business this is a really really good one to do so and i'm telling you this one's strong it's avid you don't even need to put on a fragrance but you know we're wild over here so we're going to put about um, 10 on today but this one is good on its own so so good and you know what should i yeah why not i just want to smell so good and you know what this is a good time to to spray like really strong fragrances because you're not going to disrupt anyone because first of all they're not even supposed to be by you okay six feet back back give me six feet i was actually in marshall's the other day and it's like it was all up on me like literally she was pushing her car she was right behind me i was like first of all you're about to run over my feet and anyone that knows me knows i have some feet issues so i was like um you about to run over my feet with your car and secondly why are you all up on me miss cole COVID-19 back back but anyways this fragrance we're gonna put this on first and it's a really good time to like overdo your fragrances or wear your most powerful ones because people are supposed to supposed to supposed to have on masks to cover up and they're not supposed to be in your space anyway so you could just really go wild okay and if they complain be like okay well, you're not supposed to be by me anyway but anyways we're gonna start with this oil already smells amazing but no we will not stop i'm gonna work from like the lighter ones on up so the next one that we're gonna do even though that oil is not light at all i just want to start with the oil because i feel like it makes sense right <laughs> anyways the next one that we're gonna do is this is meow by katie perry this is a super oh my god diaphanous this is a very light 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 fragrance i literally just spray this when i'm about to go to sleep at night when i just want to smell you know you just want to smell something so this is I thought that was a bug. I was like, Ooh, about to go to war, girl. But anyways, I spray this when I get out the shower. I'm about to go to sleep at night. Usually, it's very, very light. But it smells like vanilla ice cream for just a little while, okay? So, let's do that one next. Okay? It still smells good together. It, it smells like... It smells like a snickerdoodle cookie inside of vanilla ice cream. Mm, delicious. Okay. The next one that we're gonna do is, actually this is a first impressions for me because I haven't tried this fragrance yet. So this is going to be Secret Genius from Penrose. And this one actually has vanilla, caramel, and sandalwood, which is really, really exciting. And I really like Penrose. If you're not familiar with the brand, they're usually sold, I think, in Sephora. They're like a niche indie brand. Um, they have some really, really nice fragrances that I like. This is the other parfum. I really like their Pillow Talk Poet as well. That's a, like a, smells like 
sexy laundry pretty much but this one is secret genius i don't even know if they still sell this one. Oh, this is a roller i should have put this on before but whatever but yeah vanilla caramel and sandalwood this one actually needs a little bit more towards the sandalwood but it still all smells good together i wonder at any point is this going to start smelling stonky boy oh well hit the shower up i feel like i need to anyways in the summertime drop below do you guys always feel like you need to just run and shower like five times a day like as soon as you step outside you just feel icky like it's already that weather well, i just feel like okay i need to hit the showers I need to hit the showers hit the showers and then also drop below what are your favorite vanilla scents like i just can't get enough of vanilla i just cannot get enough it's an insatiable desire to be surrounded by vanilla Oh well, there's there's worse things you can be addicted to, right? Okay, the next one that we're gonna do is going to be see how that's developing. Yeah, okay, so that fragrance kind of leaned a little bit more sandalwood. Let's go into Laura Mercier Ogre Mon. This is amber vanilla, and just as it sounds, it has amber and vanilla. Let's see if there's anything else. So it says the soft sensuality of amber blends effortlessly with the warm comfort of vanilla to create a fragrance of feminine elegance and sophistic and sophistication infused with fresh floral notes of tangerine tiger orchid and heliotrope and enhanced by almond brown sugar coconut musky sandalwood Ugh. girl you could let that out but i know it's to keep it on on the skin longer whatever the effect is an intimate personal fragrance that is rich yet discreet when they say discreet that's cold for not strong at all <laughs> you know you see how they try to do words okay why does it smell like i totally get that tangerine i was like this smells like citrus it smells like orange sickle now yeah i'm getting orange sickle which is absolutely amazing that's like literally i'm obsessed with anything that's orange i love orange flavored everything orange candy orange ice cream just orange flavored everything except for actual oranges like i'm not huge into that i'll eat them because i guess it's good for you or whatever but i i like orange flavored if it's orange flavor it's gonna be good orange pop oh orange soda like he and kale where's my millennials at yeah it kind of smells like it still has that sandalwood in it. that sandalwood is powerful move sandalwood oh you're messing up everything okay the next one that we're gonna do i feel like we should go into because we're gonna get started getting a little bit strong let's do the dior poison eau de toilette this is edt I actually got this for my birthday this year i haven't been wearing it much though i have to admit um i'm really afraid for how this one is going to turn it because it does have the vanilla in there but then it also has kind of smells like <laughs> why it smells like um not putty is it putty play-doh play-doh it smells like play-doh so now it smells like play-doh yeah i'm getting in that saltiness it's just something about this fragrance it has the vanilla yes it's prominent um it's like a lighter version of a vanilla it's not really bogged down it's not really like clawing but it just kind of smells a little bit salty i feel like it's drying away though maybe the other fragrances mixed with it is making it go away a lot faster than it usually has in the past but thank god because that little saltiness is not it Okay, the next one we're going to hit it with is going to be Sweet Like Candy by Miss Ariana Grande. Now, let's see what this does. This is very sweet. I feel like this one kind of smells like cotton candy, but let's see. Ugh, why is the... It's spraying like Windex. Why is my atomizer doing that? I hate that. Okay, very sweet. Now it smells like a cupcake. Now it smells like a cupcake saving the day thanks miss ariana ariana grande scents are actually like not bad like not bad i can't even shake them they're i mean pretty affordable they're not like they're on the more expensive side of celebrity scents because a lot of celebrity scents you can find for like 20 bucks or something like a jessica simpson or um britney spears but those are also been out for a really long time um the ones that are still in store it's like on the more expensive end i feel like if that makes any sense around 40 to 60 dollars or her cents are but really good that smells good it smells like a cupcake okay let's see what's the next one we want to do now i feel like i'm trying to go with the lighter ones i feel like vanilla fruit by mullinard mullinard is a really good niche brand that's super affordable i think this was 
$47, under $50, niche brand, very interesting scent. So lavender one's really good too, but this is the vanilla fruit or vanilla fruit, eau de parfum. And I really, really like this one. My friend suggested it. I was like, I want something sweet and niche. And he was like, vanilla fruit by Molinar is actually really good. Hmm, that kind of made it turn a little bit like vanilla musk. That kind of smells like a little bit of vanilla musk. I don't hardly get any of the fruit and I feel like it brought out, it brought back the Play-Doh saltiness of the Dior EDT. I don't know what that's about, but she can go, she can go. This is not a super strong vanilla scent. So if you want something that's niche, vanilla, lighter, this is great for the summer too. And something that's affordable, I think I would go with this one. I actually really like this one. It smells a lot better on its own, but I guess because it's mixed with so many different things, the, the fruitiness that's really nice that makes this fragrance unique is not coming through because I've mixed it to no end and I won't stop. I can't stop. Okay, the next one that we're going to do, which one do I wanna do? Which one's lighter? Amo or Elemental Fragrances? Let's do, I think actually let's do Mancera. I know usually you're like, Mancera is so strong, girl. But I feel like this one is not like, a, it, it lasts all day. I'm talking about Coco Vanilla, Coconut and Vanilla by Mancera, but it's like a skin scent. It scents close to the skin. It sits close to the skin, so let's do this one. Hmm, okay. So that one, the coconut, it just turned it coconut. Now it smells very coconutty. This fragrance definitely lets the coconut shine more so than the vanilla, or maybe I'm just getting used to the vanilla note at this point, so I'm smelling other things. Hmm, yeah, I'm getting cocoa. It smells like a beach scent. Smells like a vacation. Are you guys like about to take a vacation since it seems like things are opening up? Drop it below, girl. Let me know. Are you about to go on vacation? Or are you just going to do like more like staycations, barbecues around the house? Because um, you know, holidays are coming up. Juneteenth, woo woo, is coming up. Um, Fourth of July, Independence Day is coming up. What are you guys going to do? I think actually this Juneteenth, I think I have to remember because I always forget I have a stash of sparklers that I keep. Like I always have sparklers in my place just in case it's like a special occasion or if I want to do a photo shoot and have like sparklers because I always think that's so cute and like whimsical. But I really want to take these sparklers with me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm doing something for Juneteenth. I'm going to take these sparklers with me and do like a photo shoot or something like that. And I think it looks so cute with this hair, right? Ah, oh my God, I'm excited. Okay, let's see how it smells. Yeah, it's okay. So the vanilla's coming back. She's coming back into the picture, but I'm definitely getting the coconutty, beachy, beachy vibes. Okay. The next one that we're going to hit this one with is going to be Amo by Ferragamo. I love this one. It's like a boozy. It has like um a bitter, it's supposed to be like a bitter, sweet, tropical drink note in here. It also has, I think it's like rhubarb or like some fruitiness. And then it has vanilla as well. This is one of my favorite scents of all time. Yeah, right off the bat. I don't know, I know I'm not supposed to do it twice, but look, I love this one. I'm getting the tartness of the rhubarb. The tartness of the rhubarb is totally there. The fruitiness, this one's bringing the fruity, this, this actually right now smells like how usually vanilla fruit would smell, I feel like. This is, I guess, stronger. I'm happy I put it in the back end. Yeah, but I'm definitely still getting the vanilla. Look, this arm is just about to get ate up. I don't know, by humans, by bugs, something. I can't take a shower now after this because I would have wasted so much fragrance. Oh, well. Yeah, the fruitiness is actually going away now because when you first spray it, it has like that tartness, bitterness that it has in that tropical drink and then the rhubarb as well, which you know is like, if you've ever, um, I've never eaten rhubarb, I've only smelled it in fragrances, but it usually turns things a little bit tart. Kind of like the Dolce & Gabbana 3 Lempertrice, I believe that's the name of it. That one has a prominent rhubarb note as well and it's a little bit tart, but the tartness goes away, which I like because I don't like tart in fragrances. 
it smells a little bit stonky and to me i feel like it translates to other people that don't have such a keen nose such a you know a keen nose <laughs> they would just say that it smells sour and you don't want every you don't ever want someone to be like you smell sour no thank you no thank you all right, the next one that we're gonna do is the Elemental Fragrances. Love this brand, very nice brand. This is a black owned niche fragrance brand. This has vanilla, amber, lotus, and wild orchid. It's a very sexy, sensual scent. Works for all seasons, and I, as you can tell, I really like it. I wore it down, especially in the fall, winter, but it works all seasons because it has those uplifting florals. So let's see what this is gonna do. Ooh, that's strong. A lot came out. This is a nice atomizer. Ooh. This actually turned, usually I get more of like the vanilla creaminess in here, but I guess because it's combined with all of those, I'm getting more of the floral components and especially the orchid. So it's definitely, I still smell the vanilla in there. It's the sweetness, but it's the backdrop. I'm getting a lot of orchid right now. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's let it dry down. Let's let it dry down. You know what? I talked to you guys about this a little bit, a little bit earlier, but I'm still looking for very strong powerful deodorants especially for the summer summer's here you guys and all of those i've been playing around with all those other deodorants and they are not working and i hate smelling stonky boy when i go outside and i just don't know what to do like it's at the point where i feel like i have to wear men's deodorant because i don't want my deal i don't want my uh, my armpits to smell like anything like i hate it I'm not here for it I'm, 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 I'm playing it up it doesn't stink but like is it too much to ask for my armpits to smell like roses or like you know like vanilla or something like that do you guys know any deodorants that are like really strong really strong <laughs> okay but then also smell good because like the men's deodorants I've even passed the point where I even want them to be like aluminum free clearly that's not made for me i need the aluminum put the aluminum in there okay put it back in there because i need it but is there any deodorants that actually smell good like can it smell like strawberries or something and stop the funk let me know i need suggestions please please okay so the orchid is still very prominent this is a nice strong fragrance but i smell vanilla I smell very sensual. I smell very sensual. I don't know, something about this is like a whimsical fragrance. I think it's the Lotus. Lotus gives me whimsical on fragrances. I really, really like that. Okay, the next one that we're going to do is going to be, ooh, which one do we wanna do? I feel like, let's do this one. Even though this could be strong. It's like a toss up. Sometimes it's really strong, sometimes, I don't know. This is the Velvet Vanilla by Mancera. This also has a very prominent tuberose note, and I feel like sometimes it smells like birthday cake, literally. So let's see. Mmm. Yeah, it smells super sweet. I get the birthday cake tuberose note in there. So for some reason, it's smelling a little bit fruity, though. I don't know. I don't know if that's the fruitiness from the Molinard, if it still has a little bit of like the fruit from the Amo. But it's smelling a little bit fruity as well. I smell the tuberose. I don't smell the orchid as much now, but it smells super bubblegum sweet. Hmm, why does it smell almost like a peach note? Something about it smells a little bit peachy. I'll take it. I like peach and fragrances. Okay, the next one we're going to do is going to be from, actually, let's do pink sugar. Pink sugar. I want to say this one has vanilla with caramel, but this one smells like burnt. It smells like a burnt version of sweet like candy. It smells like burnt cotton candy to me. Let's try it. Burnt cotton candy. This is actually a strong fragrance, dude. Look how much. I wear this all the time, dude. I'm obsessed. Look how much is gone. And then actually someone asked me, correct me if I'm wrong, but someone told me that when it has vanilla in there, even if it's not super old, like generally it'll turn a little bit of like a yellow hue or turn a little bit darker. And I haven't had this super long, but when I first got it, it was more so like clear, 
I don't know if it was like completely transparent, but it was lighter than this. And I think that we have vanilla and fragrances. It turns it a little bit darker. Let me know if that's correct or not. I've seen it different places, but I don't know. I've seen that conversation stemming, but I don't know if it's true. It smells like cookies. Kind of smells like going back to the Posets perfume. Like not snickerdoodles now, but like sugar cookies. That's what it smells like with that recent um, pink sugar edition. Okay, we're getting down to the end. The next one that we have is Fancy by Jessica Simpson. I'm almost scared to spray this one because I feel like this is actually a strong fragrance. I feel like it's just gonna take over total dominations, dictatorship in a bottle. Let's see. Look, this bottle's almost empty. Can you believe it? That's how you know. That's how you know. You don't know, now you know. Yeah, you know what? You know what um expression I've been saying? If you guys are familiar with hip hop music, if you know Pusha T, he was in that beef with Drake a little while ago. <laughs> but it stuck in my head <laughs> when he says, if you know, you know. <laughs> and look, if you know, you know. If you know about this fragrance, you know. That actually didn't do much at all. Why does it smell like I get the orchid. I'm smelling, I'm still smelling this one. Elemental fragrances. I'm smelling this one still. This is actually, I still smell the lotus. I still smell the orchid. Wow, performance. And you know what? He puts a lot. This is like a high oil concentration brand in general, but then like this fragrance, it's good. Semena figa, semena figa. Mmm. Yeah, I'm getting elemental. I smell like this one this one this one and i smell this one so molinar vanilla fruit i smell fancy i smell pink sugar and i smell elemental fragrances hmm interesting interessant okay we have one more i have dua fragrances this is a fragrance house that is actually someone told me to stop talking about them because they're so amazing they're afraid that their price is gonna go up but you know that's the price we pay. But anyways, this fragrance house has really good replica fragrances. Well, not replica, but like inspired by really popular designer fragrances and even really popular niche fragrances as well. But like they have one that's, um I think Cherry Casino by Dua Fragrances is a dupe of Tom Ford Lost Cherry. And then I'm pretty sure they have one for like some other ones. I don't know. But this one is Dua Fragrances Drowning in Vanilla and girl performance really affordable i want to say they're around 60 dollars. that's not bad especially because it's not fragrance where you have to spray it and spray it and spray it like one spray one spray it's good for most people but you know we like to spray we like that douse we like performance deal let's see i'm actually afraid mm, this one actually has a base of oud i feel like or woodiness which i can smell Mm, there's something like a little bit spicy. That's like a spiced vanilla. It smells like vanilla chai tea. It smells like a chai tea latte with vanilla. Mm, it smells very nice and cozy and comforting. Like, I want to buy this fragrance. Mm, I still smell a backdrop of the elemental fragrances, the floral notes in here, legitimately. So that's that's a really good one. I feel like I kind of smell the process perfume still. The snickerdoodle-ness of the girls who love vanilla. Hmm. But this arm is like greasy. Greasy boy. Look at that. Look at that. Hmm. Wow. That do a fragrance one. I, that's why I almost saved it for last because it's strong. It's strong, girl. Okay, the last one, I feel like this is such a dominant knock you down kind of vanilla scent and that's why i saved it for last and it was with me all throughout fall winter pierced through cold cold temperatures it pierces through cold temperatures no problem it has really good performance i literally sprayed it last night before i went to bed and i woke up in the morning and i was like mm, it smells good it smells sweet and i was like wow it's me i smell good so this is van cleef and oh 
so I was about to drop it. Van Cleef and Arpels Orchid Vanille, and this is from their collection Extraordinaire. Really, really, really good. Really, really good. Really, really good. So sometimes this one smells a little bit like vanilla Coke to me for some reason, or a little bit root beerish, but it smells sweet and then clearly it has orchid and vanilla. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting vanilla Coke. Vanilla Coke. I still smell that orchid. I still smell the orchid from this one. Can you believe that? That's a great fragrance. Wow, let's see. And you know what? I'm still getting Dua. Dua is strong. The woodiness, I don't know. There might be some like agarwood in there or something like that. But I smell the Dua Drowning in Vanilla. That's a really good, like, there, it has a little bit of, like, a woody spiciness. I totally get that. I totally, I totally, totally get that. And dare I say I still smell, like, I still smell this one. I still smell the Snickerdoodle fragrance in there. But I thought this was going to smell so disgusting altogether. I literally thought I was going to be walking around smelling stonky, but it doesn't smell bad at all. Literally. I feel like, I wonder if it's a strong scent. I probably have gotten so used to it at this point to where I'm just like, I don't know. But anyways, that's that video. This was really fun for me. Hopefully it was enjoyable for you. And i catch you in the next video. Peace.